Denmark, the most hostile Scandinavian country. I give you five reasons not to visit Denmark. Number five, food. What can I say? The Danish are complicated. Most of the Danes are wild. They eat pig. Why don't you eat for me? For breakfast, lunch and supper. And if you're a Muslim or a vegan, they'll chomp, 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 chomp a live pig in front of you just to prove that they are the real Vikings. I'm aware they have some of the best restaurants in the world and the current reigning champion in making of this video is Danish. It must be fixed. Come on, there must be some bias. Why does a European restaurant win every time? The Europeans sticking up for one another. They can have the prize. Let them feel good about themselves. We all know they steal it from somewhere and label it as their own inventions. You should see the demonstrations they do on their promotional videos. The way they hold the plates, the way they pour the nitrogen liquid on the food, injecting cucumber juice into carrots. Utterly, utterly ridiculous. If you visit Denmark, you must visit these restaurants and give your money away. The Danish cuisine is dry, bland and uninspiring. It's for people to feel good about themselves. The food isn't real. It's all artificial anyway. Number four, things to do. You can eat in the finest restaurants, takeouts, buy food at a supermarket. It's expensive. The tax rate is ridiculous as the Danes don't mind paying taxes to their daddy. It's a massive rip-off to live there. Fine dining exists for tourists. The Danish currency is okay. End of the day, if you have money to burn, visit Denmark. Number three, small country. Denmark is a small nation. It's at the butt end of the Scandinavia. There's never a music festival if there is one. They are the last option for music artists as the Danes don't like paying for live shows. They do have some quality artists in their country. On the other hand, you cannot explore the countryside unless you're a huge redneck. And you need to be careful of your political views as a lot of Danes get easily offended. Number two, where to stay. There's nowhere nice to stay apart from the capital, Copenhagen. I'm a day. The city that puts Denmark on the map. Without it, Denmark will not exist. You, don't see it ahead, ahead, you, can't to me. you can stay at hotels. They are trailers, camps and hostels. Hotels are expensive, but it is the best option as it offers the most comfort. Danes are very annoying when it comes to transport. They like cycling to work and leisure. Many don't own a car. Everyone in the Western world knows cyclists cause a lot of confusion and accidents in the road. The Danes think they can tackle climate change by pedaling on their little bikes while paying high taxes. Where's the comfort while paying high taxes? Where's the comfort in that? The Danish should be paying lower taxes because of the attitude to having a greener country. Living on the mercy of bankers. Number one, social issues. The Great Danes swear a lot. English is not their first language, yet they swear like they own it. Self betrayal. The Danish language will never win a Nobel Prize in literature. It's a useless language. Some Scandinavian countries, like Iceland, force the Danish language on their children because of historical ties and friendships. I feel sorry for them. If you're black or brown, you may face problems, maybe not in the capital, but in the other areas. There is systematic racism and you'll feel it in the air. Can you tell me what's going on? Most Danes are not shy to express their views. It's part of their culture to be nasty to their guests or their neighbors. They don't believe in God. Yo, give praise to the most high. And finally, don't waste your money. There are far better countries. Sweden is a lot better. Why not spend your money in Central America? They got better culture, good vibes, and you'll be treated like royalty. 
And that's all folks. Comment, subscribe. See you next time.